Alright guys, um, I'm going to show you how to make a auto updater for your program. Um, I know some of you, some people may uh, code programs, some of you may not. If you don't, then don't watch the video, but otherwise, whatever, you can watch it. So the first thing you want to do is open up either Visual Studio or Visual Basic, whatever you're running. Open up your program or or just make a new program or a, a form and follow along I forgot to mention you guys are going to need Dropbox and yeah that's about it you're going to need Dropbox for this so go download that right now dropbox.com slash download I believe and download it install it make an account and yeah alright guys once your form is loaded resize it do whatever and yeah so I'm just gonna create mine here real quick I'm just gonna put that in and I'm gonna put that in. Alright, so update and drag this down here. Version, oh come on. Version, version point one. Alright, now we're just going to rename this to Update. Like I said, you can have different types of ways you, the person updates their program, whether it be whether it's automatic and they don't have to click a button, or you can make a menu strip and have a drop down and have it say update, and then yeah. Alright, so once you do that, click on the part that you want to update it not that all right I'm gonna click on this I'll show you two ways of how to update it once my slow ass computer loads all right so this is gonna be my how I'm gonna update so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the code that I'll give you and we'll just copy this Do that. I'm gonna go S E H E check for check for updates. Yes, I know it's not typing. I don't know why it's going so slow. Come on. Check for updates and class. Put an end sub in right there. Or not. What's your problem? Alright. And here it is. That's basically all you have to do. You can customize this text right here. Um, yeah. You can customize that text. I don't care what you do with it. But now, here's where Dropbox comes into play. Um, go ahead and open up Dropbox. Alright, once you got your Dropbox open, go into Public. Right click. New folder. Name it the name of your program. So YouTube update. Go into that folder, right click, new text document and name it version dot txt. Alright. And oh, come on. And then once you do that, open that up. Type in 1.0.0.0. Click save. Close that. Minimize that because we're going to need it again. Go back into here. Or wait. No. Open back up. Uh, 
your Dropbox. Highlight this so it's so you, when you right click Dropbox, copy public link, go in here, right here. Not this one because that's where you have to put a different thing. So right click on this one right here. Click paste. And then go build, build your program. Once that's done, come on, Jesus Christ. Click save all. pick to where you want to save it I don't care Save it again just just to be safe. Minimize that. Go into where you saved it. Go YouTube update or whatever your program's name is. Go to bin. And if you're doing this in Visual Basic, you'll go into the release and you'll select your program. And then you will drag it in to your Dropbox public and then the name of your program and then just simply copy this again and paste it in here alright you always have to have a copy in there and then you're going to right click on this copy public link and paste it in there and then you're going to go back to build and you want to save all again minimize go back into here open it back up drag it in here copy and replace put it back in there and you don't have to do this I'm just showing you that it works you can close out of that open it up Once again, yours won't be this slow. It's just my computer being a pain in the ass. Alright, here it is. Click update. It may freeze and say not responding for a couple minutes, but once that's done, it'll say you are up to date. But if there's an update, then it'll say there's a download. And then say you update, I'll say you update your program. So I'm going to name this version 2 just to show you that it works and I'm going to go into project right here click on that on the project go to your properties and from here you can change the icon and everything but when you update it you're going to click on assembly information and this is what you're going to change the version all right um i don't care how you change it but if you change when you change it you got to change both the same click okay go back up to build wait until all of this is enabled again click save all once or twice go back into here drag this into here copy and replace again put it in here and now if you go and try and update it nothing will happen alright so what you're going to want to do is go into here and whatever you put this number as 
you're going to put it right here so I'm gonna put a one right there save that close it open it oh and I recommend you guys run this as admin so I'm gonna click update and it should say I have an update and there it is it says there's an update we'll download it for you it'll open up your web browser and close out of that it don't matter it'll open up your web browser and it should come up yep there it is there's a download saying it's going to download a new version but I'm not going to because I don't want to and I want to show you how to make it so you don't have to uh, uh, what's it called so they don't have to do anything to update so what you're going to do is you're going to copy this delete that double click on your form 1 make sure it says form 1 load paste that in there and when they open it it'll automatically check so you'll see it right here it should say I have an update so or it shouldn't say I have an update I'm sorry again it may take some time because it's checking for an update and as you can see it says you are up to date and then it'll open up the program there it is and you can obviously delete that and yeah so once the form loads up it'll say it'll either you'll either have an update or you won't and yeah so that's pretty much about it guys um i'll put the uh the code for this in the description and yeah so i hope many of you coders out there like this video um if you do please like the video S subscribe if you want favorite hell share it with your friends and yeah so Rate, comment, subscribe. See you later, guys.